The wood stem of bamboo makes it very similar to a tree, but the plant is actually a grass. As a grass it has a very shallow dense root system that holds the topsoil together to prevent erosion. Bamboo is a fast growing plant that releases 35% more oxygen into the atmosphere than trees. Bamboo absorbs much more carbon dioxide than any other plant, which means it helps reverse the effects of global warming by absorbing greenhouse gases. Bamboo is an ideal building material because it can be grown even in poor soil without causing its degradation. It is the fastest growing plant in the world. It grows even about one half meters per day. Bamboo is practically fireproof because it contains large amounts of silicate acid. A remarkable example of bamboo resistance is the fact that it was the only plant to survive the radiation of the atomic bombing in Hiroshima in Japan in 1945. Bamboo is very flexible, which makes it a convenient building material, especially in earthquake-prone areas. The tensile strength of bamboo poles is even greater than steel. Original looking bamboo houses in Indonesia are the favorite choice of exotic tourists visiting the archipelago for two weeks or a month. In order to distance themselves from everyday life, they need not only a new environment but also a tropical interior styling. Large triangular revolving windows let in a lot of light because it increases the level of endorphins, colloquially known as happiness hormones. The bamboo block has a non-invasive influence on a fragment of the jungle landscape. To find a real Indonesian bamboo house I feel I have to leave my comfort zone. If bamboo is called poor man's wood I have to go a long way. After a long walk probably a reward because the bamboo fence gives hope that not too rich people live here, who have created a place to live also from this one freely available free building material. And whoever seeks, finds. In a place far away from civilization, I discovered something slowly disappearing in Indonesia. These bird cages are definitely a form of business. Near each house you can see a small suspended wire space inside which a colorful creature flickers and makes sounds. And here we are cooking something for ourselves. We use, of course, bamboo as a fuel. Can I enter your home? If I asked such a question in Europe, I would certainly get a negative answer. I admit that the structure of the interior is beyond me. It is a hard to find in a single term here how it was constructed. It looks like many ideas of many interior designers who have had their hands on improving this house over time. Or maybe it was just one builder, but he had a limited amount of materials of various sizes and uh, he was building just from what he found next door in the forest. The Dutch bicycle is a colonial remnant because Indonesia regained independence in 1949. Bamboo structures, dig beams or woven mats with variable patterns made of thin strips. Is there a formula, an algorithm that describes the concept of creating a roof? It does not even look like a logical reinforcement, but rather as if the host found a tree in the forest and nailed it under the influence of high percentage alcoholic drink, for example local palm wine. Here is the wall of the house, that's all it takes. Woven bamboo strips cover it with white paint, just to isolate yourself from the outside. A varied roof, partly roof tiles and part sheet metal. Was the selection of the roofing made depending on the current economic situation? This wall has a flavor. You can learn a lot about how to create facades, because I have not seen such solution in Europe. Cages and birds. 
before each entry into a home in Indonesia and often inside the house. We would call exotic these birds. They could just catch them behind the house. Another version of the roof, this time corrugated sheet. Why is the wooden structure placed on piles and not directly on the ground? I suppose it's the protection of pets from wild predators. The bamboo stairs can be moved aside at night. There are high roof windows. Women wear headscarves because they are most like 90% of the country's inhabitants. The dominant language on the Java island is Javanese, however most of the island's inhabitants are bilingual and also communicate in Indonesian. The inhabitants of Java mainly deal with agriculture. The climatic conditions of the island favor a large harvest throughout the year. Crops of rice, cassava, corn, peanuts, tea, sugarcane, coconut, palm, cocoa or rubber tree. And we managed to enter the second family building. This is the food preparation area. Can we call it a kitchen? It doesn't look that classic. Here is a metal structure on which you sit without shoes and cross leg during meals. Such a kitchen world. Why are there so many different kinds of grass clippings at home? It will become clear in a moment. Here is the real hidden cause. Bamboo pet cage inside the house. The corner of one of the rooms. What can dream animals that see bamboo all their lives and their most enjoyable moment of the day is eating a cart of green grass? Their dreams are about paradise, that is a great bamboo forest, endless amount of different flavors in the form of grasses. The largest room is occupied by animals. Seemingly this house looks poor, but the number of farm animals tells a different story about the material status of the household. If someone owns a cow, they are considered wealthy because their price ranges from 2000 to 4000 euros. Monthly earnings in Indonesia are between 50 and 100 euros. The white color of the wall visually enlarges the space. Bamboo lock supports creating acrobatic figures. Javanese dream. In Indonesia, mimpi means dream. That there will be more hujan or rain during the dry season. To quickly pay off the pinchman or scooter loan. So that we could collect more from the field and last season nasi, that is rice. Dreams can also be associated with livestock, that the new breeding animals would be born, which would unexpectedly improve the uang, that is the home budget. and it got strangely bright and shine and white. This is a sign that we are entering the bathroom. Water is taken from this square concrete container. In the equatorial zone, it is necessary to bathe three times a day. The tiles rest securely on bamboo sticks. In the vestibule to the next room, there are cows again. I can't count them anymore. A wall made of woven bamboo gives a magical light and allows many flying creatures to pass through. Their wings additionally scatter the rays. And we already know where we are. Here is the kitchen. 
In restaurants and in homes, a bowl of water is placed next to the meal. I always thought it was for drinking, but the real goal is to wash your hands, because nobody used cutlery here. You just eat with your hands, like everywhere else in Asia. The average price for dinner is 50 euro cents. Nasi goreng, fried rice with vegetables, eggs and of course baking chili. Nasi kampur, a small portion of rice with many toppings, portions of various vegetables, tofu, tempeh, fermented soybeans, fish and seafood, meats and sambal. A dish that can be bought on every corner of the street is bakso. These are minced meatballs with pasta added to the chicken stock. Braided bamboos. There is really a lot to learn from them when it comes to interior design. Somewhere in the nook and corner of the next room, more eyes shine. Kitchen number two. And behind these curtains, the youngest daughter has bedrooms. The tray is placed on thick bamboo, eco-friendly woven bamboo baskets. The host, the head of the family. The sickle is his most important tool for the cattle breeder, sharpening on a special type of stone, hollow bricks at the bottom and woven bamboo at the top, which also provides ventilation in a tropical climate plain brick fired roof tiles. And what is hidden in this room, which is made of cut and intertwined bamboos? Concrete toilet. Toilet bowls can only be found in better hotels. The back of the house is a warehouse for storing equipment. Also, bamboo poles can be used as a reserve for the construction of the house. The different textures of bamboo fences. The whole house is made of biodegradable, environmentally friendly grass. It means bamboo. And here is a small garden at the end of the yard. and mysterious tombstones on the left. Probably not as a philosophical warning memento mori, which means remember about death, but simply for the family to be buried on their land, to be with the family together forever.